white one down there. Nice them trees. Richard, you're in his, in his way, he's going to, uh, this is the amount of glory. He's <laughs> only a couple of yards short. Seeing as you're the first ones off, you can be the ones that tell us how it was. Yeah, it's not bad. We had a we had a good time out here. The weather held out for us, so that's, that's true. nice. And, uh, you got the dry run, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, we had a good we had a few good drives at the end and pulled it together. Mixed yeah. conditions, weather really you couldn't decide whether it wanted to rain or whether the sun wanted to be shining. So, no, overall, good day. Yeah. Anybody got that hole in one on the car? No, yeah, not a fish. You think we'll be walking down now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we probably would have ran off the course. We've had, we've had a drive closer to the line and we've had a drive closer to the pin. So. You think you've done fairly well today? Yeah, yeah not bad at all. I think we're just under par, so I think we might, it might hold up for something. But... And most of all, have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah, we yeah. did. Good Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Excellent. Thank you. The last thing to say is where your money's going to be spent. Well, Casey from the Smile Foundation, probably most of you went, oh. Um, we're a charity based at the radio station in um, Hull, which supports Hull and East Yorkshire. And what we wanted to do when we started last April was actually do something different. There's already some fantastic charities out there, and to start a charity in the sort of climate which we came into, um, some people said we was mad. But what we wanted to do is do something completely different, and I think we really hit the nail on the head. What charitable organisations look for now is not only uh, a financial donation, but some help from a cash point of view but skills, resources and time and effort. And what the Smile Foundation does is actually does all those things by utilising our skills at the radio station, using the voice of the radio station, um, using my skills as a, a fundraising manager. Um, and we go out there and we help smaller organisers about this evening. Is By holding this golf day here today, we're also celebrating that we're, um, we've chosen to support um, the Horsey Inshore Rescue for the next two years as well. Um, for us, it's a fantastic organisation that will really um, fit what the bill of what we're looking to do. It's a charity that's run purely by volunteers. It's not supported at all by the RNLI. All the funding goes back into making a difference here in Hornsey. But also, as everybody knows, Hornsey Injury Rescue is not just about saving people in Hornsey. It's about saving people who visit this area. These guys and volunteers are out there ready to help us whenever we need it. What we'll do to help them in the next two years is get the message across that they don't get any funding from the RNLI by using the radio station. We'll also create them documents such as an annual report, a DVD, a website and so on if they need it. Um, and we will raise vital funds for them as well. So thank you ever so much for turning out and supporting today. For those of you who got wet, thank you for carrying on. Um, we've got some fantastic support in the past year. Paragon have been a founder partner. We've got some other people in the room like the One Point. EYG over in the corner there that's supporting us now this year. Elderingtons have come on board. People are really bought into what we're trying to achieve because we think we can really make a positive difference and I think you all have done today.